So yay, we're here with Melanie Case. I'm so glad to have you here, Melanie. Super glad to be here. Thank you so much. It's nice to meet you, KK. I like the KK and the KC thing that you guys have going on. I'm like, how would I say it? Is it is it Jackie, KK, and KC? That's how I would say it, I think. <laughs> Probably, <laughs> yeah. KC, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, and they just after years of being, uh, you know, and beside each other in trainings and everything is just easier to use our sure. initial both yeah. of you at the same time well exactly we, we do get the karens that's, yeah. <laughs> that's so um i'll do the little intro so melanie is an entrepreneur at heart and has i, I have to say like one of the most passionate hearts that I know. Um, oh. I've known, I've known you, I was saying to Karen, I've known you, we, you, I think you were working at a travel agency or something in Collingwood yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so from that time. And so you've yeah. done a ton of stuff. Um, you were on uh, Rogers for quite a while. We, I think we hung out in front of the camera a number of times on daytime yeah. and so on. Um, you're still, you're doing, I've uh, been TV radio personality. You've got a couple of businesses, uh, aviation to online marketing to video production lots of really really cool stuff yeah I uh, when you say it like that it is it's like a whole bunch of juggling plates and that's and, kind and of whole family with little people who are so cute <laughs> well they are pretty cute but I think that's the reason they were made that way is so that you could uh, you know tolerate them a little bit more they are super adorable my kids I'm very very fortunate and lucky yeah, I have uh, a lot going on, and, and it's funny when you when you say it and I hear it. I think of how many times I've been told, "Just pick one thing. If you could just pick one thing and focus on that, you'd be whatever you would be. You know, you, you would think how much further you would be here or there, and and." I've given that thought, but I've also thought of my own happiness, my own, as you say, you know, the passion that I can bring to things because I have a lot of interests. And if you put me in this box, mm -hmm. I'm not going to be a happy person. That's not going to be, I'm not going to be able to fulfill all the things that I want to fulfill. So I've, uh, you know, when people have said that to me, I have at times kind of sat there and thought with it and, but then at the same time, I'm like, no, if I'm, if I have enough talent in a group of things, why not try them all? And why not give myself that opportunity to do it? Because if you don't try, you will never know. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And it's, it's funny, you know, I love that you said that because it's, there's, there's about seven different truths in there. Um, yeah. One is, you know, this idea that, you know, there's so many opportunities to, uh, to have connection and impact and influence and to be excited to play and to engage. Mm -hmm. And the other thing that it sparked for me was when we started this business, you know, we were, I'm sure you're thinking this too, Karen, we're like, you know, we've, all, we've both run our own business for a number of years and we started this business and it's, it's actually four divisions that we're building at the same time. And, yeah. you know, it's like, yeah, it's, it's wild. and if like, like you were saying, if somebody had said to us, you know, oh, just, and we've said it to people that we've coached, you know, pick one thing, focus on it, do it really well. And this business is growing and it's a, it's a weave of all the pieces. Yeah. And I think that's just the case with a lot of what you do as well. It's like, you're weaving the pieces together and one impacts the other. Mm. And and they really do. I mean, it, um, I'm pretty strategic in the way that I strategize my day and, and I'm pretty deliberate with my time. So it it does allow, and the fact that I wake up at 3.30 in the morning every morning does give me a leg up. And, <laughs> and I, I always feel like I need to say that because I feel like I do have a few extra hours in a day. I have my morning when I'm on radio and I am, you know, able to be up that early before some people even know that there is a morning and then <laughs> I'm able to then go home, spend time with my family and then carry on with any uh, business stuff that needs to be done throughout the day that way. So I, but having said that, I do find that I do need to find a time to be able to 
have me time, as you say, like melding and being a little bit more harmonious in what I do because I do have more hours. Sometimes more things end up getting put on my plate and then I'm like, well, okay, sure. But how is that fair? Just because I'm able to do it and I'm able to do it strategically and I'm able to get the job done effectively doesn't mean that you need to put that much stuff on yourself because then, you know, other things seem to start being bogged down. Then you're not able to shine as bright and then you're not able to be as present in all aspects of your life. Then you're not able to put your whole self into what you're wanting to grow. And that's, what's amazing when you have proper partners, when you have people who are able to give you that energy and be able to ride on and, and get that buzz, you need to have that, especially because People don't realize when you're, when you're opening a business, you also have a lot of creative, right? And creative, especially for me, I'm a very creative person and I need someone to not stifle that. I need someone to be able to, okay, this might not make sense at all, but let's just ride on this for a minute, right? And then you're able to collectively be able to make a better executive decision, or maybe that needs to be completely thrown out the window and you move on to something else. But it really, people need to, you need to have the proper partner. The stifling of creativity can, it's really where people get stuck, I find. It's a, it's a really important point, Melanie, because it's, um, I always said, I don't want people to tell me no, but I'm okay if they say, whoa, yeah. <laughs> like, like, I know, Karen, <laughs> you're just a little overexcited. Like what's going on? What's happening? Yeah. Um, so how did you, Melanie, go about sort of crafting the people around you? Like what type of people did you know that you needed so that you felt supported and that people were willing to play with you and your ideas and to go there without freaking out, like just seeing where you're going? How did you do that? Interesting question. That's a good one, KK, because I think of how I was in school. Um, I wasn't one that went out all the time. And mind you, I mean, if, if you talk to some people from back home, they'd probably say, no, you really enjoyed going out. But <laughs> I, when I ha was set my mind to it and I, I was, you know, going to school for journalism and I, I knew what I wanted. And I remember I would wake up every day and I would go to the gym and then I'd read the newspaper and then I would go, you know, through Tim Hortons. And then I would get to my, to uh, the, the station where I was interning at. And, and it was like a repeat, 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 repeat every day. And I was good at it. And I could have lived that, but I always felt like I was missing something. So I actually, um, decided I was going to go travel. That's how I'm going to be able to really see the world, be able to be a better journalist and be able to, you know, not burn out so quickly because I would have. And that was before burnout was even really like a term, but I felt it. I knew I needed to see more. And mind you, I, I grew up in a place where like 1500 people, small town. Um, so I needed to see things. And I decided to do, uh, I worked on cruise ships. I did marketing promotions on cruise ships. And I told people, you know, where to go shopping and how much cabs were to get wherever you needed to go. And, and I was able to meet some phenomenal people, see really great places. But I knew then how to really build relationships because there's all people all around the world. We're all different. We all are raised different. Our cultures are different. And it made me realize where I was going single-mindedly, I really wasn't going to get anywhere. So I think through that, and then, you know, I met some great people on the, on the ship there. I had a wonderful partner there and actually uh, we ended up moving and opening a store together. So I've always ended up. And, and then from there, I, you know, was still in travel, working at a travel agency um, where every, every place that I ended up working was a, phenomenal business minded person behind it. Mm -hmm. And I always picked up where their thoughts were like, I was always wanting to pick their brain. Like, how did you handle that conflict call? I don't want to call that person. <laughs> you know, I was always, so I was always picking up what other people were doing. And it wasn't until I met my husband that I really kind of let people into my pod, if you will, like, I, I have a lot of acquaintances and I know a lot of people, but to work with people and I, and I'm a great, I like, I, I would say I'm not a, I, you know, I can't speak for myself. I would have someone else to say, but I, I would say that I'm a good team player, but it was when I finally met my husband that we just clicked something was right. 
what you know obviously physically we have two children and (laughs) (laughs) but also you know in business in creativity in all of that and I I feel very fortunate because we were able to craft this life together um and and so I find that because I got out of my box I didn't stay on the path single-mindedly that I met people that I was able to pick up positives and great spirits from, you know, just different tidbits along the way that I've really, you know, how to be a better person and how, you know, how to, how to make more decisions faster. And then now I just feel like my team is falling in place because we have the core. Love it. Yeah. One last question for you, Melanie, because I know if I don't, Karen's got some fabulous stuff, but I have one more question. (laughs) Um, What is the impact that you've made in the world that you're most proud of? Wow. Okay. That is excellent because I don't know if I've given that much thought to it. Um, I would have to say that my impact would be because of what I hear most back from people is that I'm able to see a light in people. I'm able to pick up on what they're feeling um, or if they're insecure at a moment where they just need to be boosted. I'm a huge advocate of being inclusive of people. No one likes to be at an event and be the only person that's not talked to and you're sitting in the corner. Like, so I, I feel like if we all brought everybody in, and, and you, I know you can't because, you know, you, you need to protect your own energy and, and whom you have around. But if you just make sure that you are saying, hey, or whatever it may be um, to people. But when I was doing most interviews and I would meet people years down the road and they, I've, I've been told this numerous times and I really hold this dear because, um, you know, one, it's an amazing compliment, but how much other people have grown. They're like, thank you so much for seeing something in me. Thank you so much for forcing me or, you know, nudging me to uh, put myself out there and actually shine, like actually be able to show people uh, what I'm able to do and who I'm able to be because they couldn't see, they could see it for themselves, but they did, you know, we all need that one person to just be like, okay, (laughs) <laughs> get up on that stage you know no one's no one's got the hook like let's just go and so that's been a that's been probably my biggest impact is that um you know and, and I, I want to grow that obviously I want people to always shine and be bigger than they are and not be don't don't let fear stop you from um you know placing yourself out on social media and doing podcasts. And, and I get asked that all the time. Why aren't you doing a podcast? Why aren't you doing what? And for me, I, it's just not there yet. I'm doing so many other things. Um, I, I would love to, uh, when the time is right, or maybe it's not right for me mm-hmm. at all, you know, but it is just, yeah, I, I feel like that would be um, helping people to kind of step up. Love it. Yeah. I love that. Um, it- being International Women's Day, the um, the theme for this year is choose to challenge, and you know we we were talking about it earlier, um, Karen and I, and just talking about this idea of you know choosing to challenge ideas or ourselves or you know um, you know to take a stand on something. You know, what does it mean to you to choose to challenge? To choose to challenge. Yeah. Is there a place where you're challenging yourself or ideas or, or stereotypes or anything, something that, that. Oh, well, I think that um, right now in our whole society, everything is being challenged. And even as you just said, stereotypes, like there's so much now that you're just saying that, that it's a really, huge idea. It is, idea. it is really a huge idea. These are good. Wow. <laughs> what next? It's so funny. It's so interesting to be on the other side. You know? And, and, and um, I'm not, you know, I'm sure there's a time limit, but it's, 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 I like this because you are making me think and uh, that's what it's all about. Right. 
That's awesome. Well, this has been a ton of fun, Melanie. I really appreciate you coming on. I love the idea that when we have this kind of conversation, there's a little bite or a little piece or one little thing that ripples out to the community and has an impact and has influence throughout the whole community. And, you know, we don't know from this conversation what that one thing might be for this person or that person. And uh, so it's, it's just fun to connect in. Absolutely. It's been a blast and, you know, happy international women's day to everybody out there. And hopefully um, people, especially women are realizing their, their, um, their own light and build themselves up because so often we are, you know, as, as it's said that we end up tearing and we're not shining. And by you shining, you end up allowing someone else to do the same thing. That's the best part. Yeah. Thanks so much, Melanie. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye ladies.